gotta tell you about this one. This is mine. And you ain't gotta have a service for a black man and your home to have it. Yeah. Well, I'm dark skinned, so you know. Dark <laughs> That means I'm extremely dark. Like, I'm way over here. <laughs> they were never gonna let me in now, stop doing it. Oh, I'm dark skinned. Dark skinned it is. I'm bad forever. I'm too bad to get out <laughs> Every day in my lunch, my mother made two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, cut them down the middle. She gives me a chocolate chip cookie, an apple, or some sort of fruit, and gives me a quarter of a chocolate milk. I'm a sixth grader in my regret from elementary school, and I don't know what love is, but whatever it is, I love chocolate milk. It's the best thing I've ever had. And every day at 12, 10 p.m., all the sixth graders, we take lunch. We sit there and we compare our contracts. We've got the better sandwiches. Who got the better treatment? And we all share chocolate. We all share the treatment because we all share the And after doing that, it always happens. He comes. Eric. Eric the thing. Eric's favorite thing is whatever our favorite thing is. If we like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, it's Eric's favorite peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. If you like chocolate chip cookies, it's Eric's favorite chocolate chip cookies. But for the last two weeks, Eric's favorite has been chocolate milk. Mm-hmm. And he picked on one sixth grader in particular, me. Today would not be that day. Mm-hmm. I wanted to drink my chocolate milk because my mama didn't give me a quarter for me to buy chocolate milk and let him have it. So I'm going to drink it. 3.15 p.m. Eric goes across to me in our sixth grade classroom and he gives me the universal sign that he's going to beat me up. <laughs> 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 I am scared, but you know. I started to put my backpack on. I chose the I pulled my clothes, hat down on my head, I was in sixth grade, so don't blame me for my choice. 3.15 calls, he was closer. Eric of 10 makes the universal sign that he's going to beat me up. But this time I shot him and me. I give him the universal sign that I'm going to beat him up. <laughs> and why this is so shocking to me is, well, Eric is not like the rest of the sixth grade, so he has felt the sixth and he is bigger and stronger and faster than the rest of the sixth grade. The clock goes slowly towards the three again. The teacher is getting ready to say, make sure you do your. She never finishes homework. The bell never rings. I'm gone. Out the door. There are three flights there. One, two, three. Out the door. Boom. I've gotten away from the police. But like I told you, Eric is still in the sixth grade. This is the biggest strong you have than the rest of the sixth grade. And as soon as I hit the door, Eric is right behind me. <laughs> I'm running down Birmingham. For a second, I hit a right. I hit a left in the alley. I go and Mr. Johnson's yard and hit another left. And I don't even mention the day it was I stick to Eric. And I get over there and I say to myself, man, maybe the dog will eat Eric today. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, Eric will kill the sixth grade twice. He is bigger, stronger, and faster than the rest of us sixth graders. And he might be the best athlete in the school. So easily when the dog approaches him, over him, one step, he's over the fence to the next step, and he is dead on me. Down the street on 79, my mother stands waiting. And she's waiting to her son. And I'm saying to myself, mother, can you not see this maniac behind me who is held six grade twice and wants to beat me up because I didn't give him my chocolate milk? Stop waiting and do something, lady! <laughs> my mother just waits and smiles, waiting for her son, oblivious to my threatening state. I am on my own. As with most things in Chicago, the streets are horrible. So sometimes the streets being horrible, the sidewalks reflect that. And this is that. There is a crater about five feet. Well, it's the sidewalk messed up, but it looks like a crater. And it's rained for the last four days, so it's muddy and wet. I avoid it not to get it on my school clothes and come back around. Eric sees his chance to come and get me. He runs through the crater. Boom! I hear a yell. I turn and I look. And Eric is falling in the crater. As the most things, there's always a group of kids around. Somewhere I'll be laughing. When somebody gets beat up, shaved, anything. They don't do anything. They just sit there watching them.